Umara Babagana of APC having satisfied the requirements of the law is hereby declared the winner and is returned elected. With this result, the people of Borno massively voted for Professor Babagana Umar Zulum for another four-year term to spearhead the governance of Borno State as the governor. The overwhelming votes by the good people of Borno State is indeed testimony of Governor Zulum's unprecedented service delivery through good governance and exemplary leadership in line with this well-articulated 10-point pact designed to navigate the state through a post-insurgency recovery drive. With 957 projects, policies and programs during his first term in office, Governor Zulum is already consolidating on durable, sustainable and people-centered programs for a better Borno state. In the first year of his second term, Governor Babagana Umar Zulum has executed 238 projects to consolidate on service delivery and good governance for the good people of Borno state. These projects cut across 13 sectors that includes security with five projects, education has 54, health has 19, works and housing 20, human empowerment 7, trade investment and tourism 4 projects. The transport and energy sector has 7 projects, agriculture 29, good governance 18, urban and rural water supply has 26, Post-conflict reconstruction, 35, urban and rural electrification, 6, while the environment has 8 projects. I came with a vision to transform Borno State, to bring out Borno State from the damn trouble that we were in. Ensure that insecurity is reduced to the barest minimum ensure that people will have access to their agricultural lands and ensure uh, that there is good governance in Borno State. That is why I'm here. I'm here to serve the people of Borno State. As a sign of good governance, His Excellency has always been very passionate and very committed to make sure that the downtrodden, the those populations that have been affected severely by the insurgency, insecurity in the state over the last many years, and also covering the length of breast of the state. This is why he always thinks and also ensures that he is pragmatic in his actions, implementation of plans to move Borno forward. With normalcy fast returning to the state after harrowing years of insurgency that destabilized the state, Governor Babagana Umar Zulum led administration has sustained its support to the security outfits in its quest to end the insurgency. Professor Babagana Umara has been crisscrossing the state and reaching out to security formations, boosting the morale of troops in their quest to end the insurgency that has bedeviled the state. Borno State Government has procured additional 94 new Hilux Patrol vehicles, 62 Toyota Land Cruiser Samsara to the existing 1,400 patrol vehicles in the theater to further enhance their surveillance and bring to an end the security challenges. Similarly, the administration of Governor Zulum has procured another 300 new motorcycles for security patrol, especially in the hard-to-reach terrain, in addition to the provision of operational logistics to the military, the police, the DSS, and other security outfits that includes the Civilian Joint Task Force, the Vigilante, and Hunters, among others. Uh, the Bonistrato government uh, support uh, has been very tremendous over the years and that has continued on a regular basis. Most of them are in terms of logistic items that are being provided to troops that, uh, to facilitate the conduct of both kinetic and non-kinetic operations. In terms of the contribution of the state government to the Nigerian police, especially the Borno State Command, to realize this objective, the state government has put in some enablers the enablers is the creation of Borno State Security Forum. This is one and the first across Nigeria. 
the Borno State Forum bring together all the key actors in terms of security in the state. The Borno State Government has, during the first year of Zulum's second term, repaired and upgraded 49 security patrol vehicles to sustain military operations without hindrance. With the introduction of non-kinetic approach to the military onslaught on the terrorists, nearly 200,000 fighters and their families have so far surrendered to the armed forces and have been profiled, disarmed, de-radicalized and reintegrated to the community after a series of psychosocial engagements with community representatives. Similarly, the Professor Babagana Umara-led government in Borno State has established and constructed a befitting office complex for the Borno State Security Trust Fund to ensure effective and efficient coordination of security activities in the state. Professor Babagana's, you know, governance is determined focus and he roll out you know projects and his priorities given the, the situation we found ourselves in as a state that was you know devastated traumatized and uh, you know we have experienced uh, insurgency for over a decade so when he comes in set the ball running what is what are his priorities he prioritized settlement issue of security because without security there's no development. Driven by the passion to change the ailing education system in Borno, Governor Zulum since 2019 when he assumed office has embarked on a holistic approach to revive the education sector, being the primary target of the Boko Haram terrorists. The sector has witnessed massive reconstruction of schools, hitherto destroyed by the Boko Haram terrorists, construction and establishment of new ones across the state. Borno State Government, under the watch of Professor Babagana Umara, has transformed the education sector with the construction of 30 mega-size story building schools made up of 60, 40, 30 and 20 classrooms across the state. These mega schools are well furnished with laboratories, staff rooms, ICT centers, water and sporting facilities and solar power supply. 16 new senior secondary schools have been established in Bulumkutu, 777 and that of 1000 housing estates, Gwedom Gari, Soe in Bama, Gasi in Shani, Ngoshe in Goza, Malakariri in Mafa, Balba in Bayo, and Kwaibra in Hau local government areas, and five high Islamic colleges at Gajiram, Gajiganna, Baga, Gubio, Damasak, where work is currently at different stages of completion while eight new junior secondary schools have also been established in Malam Umeri in MMC, Dikwa, Gubio, Yerimari in Jere, Girjan in Dambua, and two-story building mega schools at Dalalawanti in Jere, Vula Kutiki, Dusuman, Kaleri slash Zannari, Meringa, Uba, and Askira. During first year of Governor Zulum's second term, 88 science laboratories were built and equipped in 22 secondary schools and 4,000 additional teachers for the public secondary and primary schools across the state were recruited. If you pay attention to every backing dock, you will never get to your destination. Your Excellency, stay focused. We appreciate you. This is the first time, I think, in the history of governors in the north. You can run your check where teachers are being trained and retrained. I want to appreciate this year very laudable initiative. And please, I repeat again, Your Excellency, don't be discouraged, don't be distracted. What Baba, Professor Babagana did to this community, we only say thank you and may God bless him because he will change the fortune, fortune of the next generation. We should ensure that the quality community-based education is given to every less privileged children and orphans. Also, the Zulum-led government in Borno State advertised 
screened and employed education secretaries for the 27 Local Government Education Authority, LGEA, procured 30 new Hilux Toyota vehicles and Golf Wagon vehicles to each of the education secretaries to ensure monitoring and supervision, in addition to enhanced salaries and monthly running cost. To whom much is given, much is expected from him. I also want to bring to a high notice that the education secretary will be placed on the first celebrated salary structure, equivalent to that of permanent secretaries. And therefore, there is a need for you to double your efforts with a view to repositioning the education sector and with respect to local government areas. If you know how to do so, we mean it means we shall not hesitate to do it immediately. Bernal State Government has introduced a number of incentives to attract school age enrollment who are affected by the massive displacement due to the over decade long Boko Haram insurgency. These incentives include free uniforms, instructional materials, including bicycles and a meal per day. The administration has reduced the out of school children enrollment of over 2 million to less than 700,000, which is still ongoing. Similarly, the Borno state government dispersed 5 billion, 580 million, 441,012 naira as scholarship to 29,000. 325 for under and postgraduate Borno State students studying within and outside the country, in addition to the payment of 1,561,597,600 Naira tuition fees and monthly allowances to 997 students of College of Nursing Sciences, Meiduguri. I wish to sincerely appreciate His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Borno State for this effort-making occasion of award of scholarship to nursing students, the very first of its kind in Nigeria, it is also a delight to witness the commission of new projects in the college as a testament to the excellent performance of the executive governor. It has also constructed teachers' quarters in Banki town of Bama local government, Bayo, Dikwa, Gubio, Damasak, and Goza towns. It's my singular honor and privilege to cherish forever to commission this claim for the service to humanity and The health sector under Governor Zulum continues to improve on its mandate of providing qualitative, accessible and affordable health care services to citizens irrespective of state and place of origin. In his first year of second term, the Zulum-led administration constructed and equipped five additional primary health centers with nurses' quarters in Limankara Goza, Shuari Meiduguri Metropolitan, Kaleri of Mafa, Zarmari in Kondiga, and Dayar in Kwayakusar local government areas. Equally, 20 primary health centers have been provided with solar power energy system to ensure drugs, consumables, and uninterrupted healthcare services are attained without hindrance. While the Brigadier Abba Kari Hospital at Ngaranam is undergoing renovation to ensure optimal healthcare service. Medical equipment, essential drugs and consumables worth billions of naira were procured and distributed to health facilities across the state. The administration has procured medical equipment, furnished and installed solar power to the primary health centers in Gurosoi and Moduganari and the General Hospital Goza. We must sanitize the system. We cannot afford to play with our healthcare system. Today we are here to launch the distribution of Purimakana drugs and other items needed in the sanitary section of some of our fossil drugs to the most vulnerable population in the state. I want to appeal to all of you that are working in the health center, health centers in the state, 
In fulfillment of his electioneering campaign, Borno State Government under Governor Zulum is constructing College of Nursing in Goza and Monguno, in addition to construction of eye and dental hospital in Monguno and Biu. The General Hospital Biu is undergoing remodeling and upgrade to a specialist hospital, while the General Hospital in Damboa and that of Gajiram are undergoing complete reconstruction. Governor Zulum's vision is to ensure the provision of at least a primary health center in each of the 312 electoral wards in Borno State in line with his 10-point pact on post-insurgency drive. So thank you, uh, Your Excellency, for something that is uncommon, where the federal government has a general hospital, but in Borno State, we have a governor here who has partnered very effectively with the federal government over the last several years. And in our teaching hospital, there are many contributions that the Borno State government have done under your leadership. And to appreciate that and to say that uh, it's a good example of how federal government and states can work together to improve the health and well-being of Nigerians. Provision of good roads and drainage network, as well as maintenance and expansion of existing urban and rural roads to further open up development and enhance movement and transportation of goods and services within the city and towns, is in line with the Professor Zulum agenda. <laughs> Professor Kenamba, when you get Allah Sakam Shalheri, that Rua Hatch King Giramu, a man's Gangeskia Rua, the Gayazo Mawuchi Aiki, Kuma Alhamdulillah Kotlana Yaiko. Provision of basic infrastructure such as roads to ease movements of goods and services is indeed very clear to Governor Zulum. In view of that, the administration continues to construct new roads and expand on the existing ones in tune with his urban renewal drive. During the first year of his second term, Governor Zulum has completed a tunnel-like underpass pedestrian bridge at Gambaru Custom Market area to decongest the heavy volume of movement associated with hold-up. This has added aesthetic beauty to the area. Similarly, the administration has constructed 72 units of 12 blocks of three-bedroom flats metro housing adjacent to the Ramat Polytechnic Medugri. Also, the state government has completed the 5.17 km Monguno Township Road, that of College of Education Wakabiu, as well as the 2.4 km Lang Hadiza Road at Abuja Sheraton in Meiduguri. Similarly, the Zulum led government has embarked on the dualization of township roads that covers 2.4 km Sho Sandakura Road from the Meiduguri Monday Market roundabout and 4.8 km through Budum to link Sir Kashim Ibrahim Road. Another dual carriage road of 3.5 km road and 7 km drainage network from the Shows Roundabout to Galadima Junction through Borosari Road to link Shongai Baga Road by the State Mechanical Workshop is in progress. Awuni ina being hanging on some of the Goma, some of the Isherin, Ana accident, Ana Damuna Yaiba Ebi. Another 1.75 dualization of Sultan May Malari Road from Idrissa Kadin Junction that links a Kashim Way through Budum via the State Psychiatric Hospital Medugri with 3 km drainage network. Work is steadily progressing at the 1.75 km Old Malay Road with 3.5 km drainage and 2 km water outfall while the 11.4 km road and drainage network at the 500 housing units along Damaturu Kano Highway has been completed in addition to a number of township roads within the state capital. These township roads and drainage includes 950 meter Elkenami, 374 meter Onisha, 253 meter Kari Sandabe, 864 meter May in Kinindi, and 167 meter Talba roads. Also constructed were the 270 meter Yerima Road, Cemetery Road, which covers 759 meters, 
Kinshasa and Park Drive roads have 640 meters each. Government has also procured heavy-duty equipment such as Volvo tract paver for road construction, 500 assorted trucks and a bulldozer to actualize Zulum's urban rural renewal program. The second flyover at Borno Express Junction along Meiduguri Corner Road has been completed, while the third one is currently ongoing. We have done two flyovers. This one will be the third flyover. And inshallah, before we leave office, we shall ensure the completion of all those structures that we intend to do. This flyover that we are doing it's not only for aesthetic consideration, but the most important thing is to reduce vehicular congestion around this area. Inculcating entrepreneurship and creating job for self-reliance among the unemployed and building resilience for a productive society is one of the cardinal drive of Professor Babagana Umara's administration. To this end, in the first year of his second term, he has completed furnished and commissioned additional four vocational entrepreneurial institutes in Biu, Shani, Mafa and Magumeri towns. These institutes are established to train youths in entrepreneurial and apprenticeship to enable them acquire skills and trades to enhance their socio-economic well-being and be productive in future as well as shun any form of political thuggery and other forms of idleness. The vocational institutes have 14 different trades and apprenticeship that includes welding, carpentry, solar light fabrication, cosmetology, tailoring, knitting, computer application and repairs, automobile among others. An item becomes auction. Problem is carrying this car on. We establish several technical and vocational education and training centers, as well as vocational and cultural institutes, such as this, one here in Mono, or longer term, in sustainable and conscious training, focusing on admitting vulnerable individuals, particularly those who are affected by the insurgency. Similarly, the Zulum-led government has also constructed, equipped, furnished and commissioned four new ICT centers in Gubio, Damasak, Magumeri and Gajiram towns with 100 units of computer sets each to train youths on literacy and numeracy in line with digital initiative of the administration. While four other ICT centers situated in Mafa, Dambua, Bayo and Haul have been completed and are awaiting commissioning. Also during first year of Governor Zulum's second term, the Vocational Enterprise Institute Muna has graduated 832 orphans and provided starter packs and cash for them to start a new life in self-reliance and as well offered automatic employment to 64 best graduates. We extend our heartfelt gratitude to His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Borno State, Professor Babagana Umara Zulu, affectionately known as the People's Governor for his visionary leadership and unwavering commitment to the welfare of the people of Borno State. We, the graduating students, stand as a living testimonies to the impact of your dedication to uplifting the less privileged, especially those affected by insurgency. Another 900 products of vocational training institutes in Monguno, Ngala, Moduganari, and Warabe were provided with startup kits <laughs> During the period under review, the Office of the Borno State First Lady and the Ministry of Women Affairs and Social Development have quite a number of engagements with the women folk, people with disabilities and the girl child. The wife of the governor has been the vanguard for a renewed hope of women in Borno State through series of engagements. Dr. Falmata Babagana Umara has been spearheading women activism, supporting widows and the vulnerable in addition to promoting girl-child education as well as giving hope to victims of insurgency through her pet project, 
multi-aid and charity initiative by training them on skills and trades to enable them have a new beginning with dignity. Empowering women to reach their full economic potentials will not only tangibly support the key goal of reducing gender inequality, but will also significantly advance healthy competition and future economic prosperity devoid of gender dominance worldwide. This administration will continue to support women. One of the areas Governor Zulum is set to promote and reinvigorate is commerce. As part of his post-insurgency recovery drive to support the ailing economy due to prolonged insurgency in the state to bounce back and encourage investment in Borno State. In line with the administration's agenda of reviving the economy of the state, government reconstructed and remodeled the burnt-down Meduguri Monday market. Recapitalize the market traders with 1 billion naira cash support to cushion the loss and start up their businesses. The Zulum-led government has also constructed additional 176 shops at the newly built ultra-modern Bama Road Motor Park and Market to accommodate more traders who are relocated to the new site. The administration in its first year second term has rehabilitated the Gamburu cattle market while the Borno State Hotels has been remodeled. This is to promote the tourism and hospitality subsector. The terminal objective of establishing the mass transit program is to reduce the hardship of the community. And therefore, under this environment that we are working, when subsidy has been removed, there is a need for this corporation to reduce cost of, to reduce transport fear, to the BRS minimum. Provision of effective, efficient and affordable means of transportation to its citizens is one of the priorities of Governor Zulum-led government in Borno State. To this end, the state government within the first year of the second term has procured additional new inter- and intra-city buses to ease the transportation needs of the people, to cushion the effect of fuel subsidy removal and enhance movement of people, goods and services. Thank you, Your Excellency. This is a vision for me. And this is exactly hope review. Thank you for your good job, Boris. The Professor Babagana Umara led administration in Borno State has procured 50 units of electric taxis, which is the first of its kind in the country and additional 52 buses to ease transportation needs of the citizens. Similarly, the administration has procured 500 Phoenix VH100 electric tricycles, 10,000 electric bicycles, 10 electric vehicle charging terminals, in addition to the installation of 120 digital way bridge to check excess loads on vehicles. What you see behind me is a way bridge. A way bridge is a large weighing scale for weighing vehicles. The main purpose of this way bridge is to preserve our roads and also generate IGR for the state by checkmating the loads these heavy duty vehicles carry on our roads. The Zulum led government in Borno State has, within the period under review, procured and installed 14 different capacity transformers to different locations to further boost electricity supply and scale up socio-economic activities across the state. Also, government has embarked on massive installation of solar-powered streetlights to replace the diesel-powered lights across the major towns to enhance visibility, security, beauty and ease movement of people, goods and services. The agricultural sector under the watch of Governor Zulum continues to receive the desired attention now that peace is fast returning to the state with lots of initiatives aimed to encourage farmers to go back to their farms. To that effect, Borno State Government procured 208 trucks of NPK fertilizer to support farmers at 50% subsidized price across the state. 
Similarly, 471 tractor implements such as plows and harrows were procured and distributed to farmers across the 312 electoral wards. In addition to the cultivation of 20,000 hectares of maize, rice, groundnut at mega farms as well as the distribution of livestock feeds to 300 farmers. Keeping the IDVs at IDV camp and providing them with handouts is no more sustainable. And therefore, we want to shift our focus from shorter term humanitarian support to medium and longer term sustainable solutions, which is agriculture. That is why we are here to plug up the distribution of agricultural inputs for this year's farming here in Damasak. The quantum of items that are to be distributed to farmers in Borno State include 20,000 bags of fertilizer, 5,000 uh, tube wells are to be drilled, and then 20,000 beneficiaries should benefit from herbicides and pesticides. In addition to this also, we are procuring 1 million liters of petrol in order to drive our petrol-driven water pumps. And this petrol will be sold to the farmers at a subsidized rate. In addition to this also, we are providing solar pumps, water pumps, 1,000 to the entire state because we are also trying to shift from the utilization of fossil fuel to green energy with a view to reducing carbon emission and reducing cost also. Kandawara, alhamdulillah, Kandawara, Kasuwe, and Dera Saudia, Kandawara, Motol, and Saudis, as I never do like in Galanga. I am a baron to Professor Babakana, Omar Azar, and Governor Borres, Kala and Dera Lita, Kala Nera Yeru, Galang the Kala Nera do Indian Yeru and Dera Sadino Solo. The Zulum-led administration has introduced quite a number of initiatives and schemes geared towards reviving agricultural activities, being a professor of agricultural engineering himself. The scheme includes the resuscitation of irrigation farming in Jaffi in Kwayabra, Gamboru, Wulgo in Gala, Gajibo in Dikwa, Gulai in Damasak, Garanam and that of Mafa. In addition to the 10 hectare pilot drip irrigation scheme at Magumeri and Bokweri, with a plan to expand the scope to 300 hectares across the three senatorial zones in the state. <laughs> Similarly, the Borno state government has procured and distributed assorted irrigation equipment that include solar powered water pumps, implements, seeds, agrochemicals to 3,000 farmers to encourage them to boost agricultural activities across the state. Also, the administration has resuscitated the poultry production unit, demonstration and holding center to further support poultry farming as well as the resuscitation of the livestock investigation and breeding center at Garanam, among others. Equally, the Governor Zulum-led government has established the agro-logistics hub in Gamborungala to revive animal rearing and husbandry. Provision of portable water for human and animal consumption as well as for domestic use is further sustained by the Borno State Government under the watch of Professor Babagana Umara with the drilling of additional 65 hybrid boreholes with basement formation outfitted with overhead tanks, water reticulation and array of taps across the state within his second term in office. Similarly, in the water subsector, 61 solar-powered pumps have been rehabilitated across 42 communities of Meduguri, Jere, Konduga, Biu, Marte, Haul, Kwayakusar, Bayo, Bama, 
Askira Uba and Mafa local government areas. This ball is a very gigantic uh, project which was carried out by the state government. <laughs> The administration during the period under review has completed the construction of waterworks at Azare in Haul, Moromti in Kondiga, Garanam in Medugri Metropolitan, Medina to Injere, and Mafa in addition to the reticulation to houses. <laughs> Bol kura ndo gerezu kurunga bol gerezu na irman eri anguru inguru so samaso chichi lenum ji teptai teptai baba nde na pidio na piwe en sare na ji teptai gena na zo mawo gumra askaran za filena in line with the zulum's agenda for provision of clean potable water to citizens the administration has sustained the procurement of chemicals diesel and lubricants it has also installed solar powered energy at the water treatment plant and boreholes to ensure steady water supply to residents of Medugri and environs. <laughs> Protecting the ecosystem for a clean, better and safe environment is one of the priorities of Governor Zulum-led government in Borno State. To this end, in his first year second term, the administration sustained its afforestation program. Similarly, on flood and erosion control, Construction is ongoing at Uba and Gamdu towns. Another 19.51 kilometer drainage network has been constructed at the 500 housing estate along Medugri Kano Road and procured three heavy duty excavators and two bulldozers for the construction of roads, land clearing, and preparation for farming. The Professor Babagana Umara administration is raising 10 million assorted seedlings for distribution and reactivation of afforestation program, in addition to the planting of 1.2 million tree species at the Borno State Teaching Hospital, Muna Housing Estate, Dalori Estate, Malam Aborti Village, as well as in schools. We are dealing the fact that climate change is real, and it is caused by human and natural factors. We can see its impact in the high temperature, unpredictable low rainfall, and flooding in Borno and elsewhere. This if not checked, we may one day find that the whole Borno thing is together. And therefore, we want to call on all our people to be climate smart in all activities that you are doing. I also wish to appeal to the general public to plant trees around every housing estate to serve as wind breakers. Now? The post-insurgency recovery drive of the Professor Babagana Umar Zulum-led administration has resettled the Bukarti and Gibranti communities at the Molay 500 resettlement housing units, the IDPs at Kawarmela to Dalori, and those of Malam Kelumri in Kondega. Similarly, Governor Zulum has resettled another batch of IDPs from six local government areas at the Muna camp to their respective local government areas and dispersed 954.7 million Naira cash support to the returnees. And our first impressions are very positive that recent progress has been made and we are looking forward to seeing how we as international partners with the governor and his government in the lead can get behind the plans being put in place for more durable solutions for people's livelihoods going forward. Given His Excellency the Governor and his very clear vision of where he wants to improve the conditions of the people of Borno State. To ensure full restoration of civil authorities, government has constructed and rehabilitated high courts, magistrate courts, Sharia and upper Sharia courts in Bama, Biu, Benishek, Gubio, Wamdio, Meringa, Gunda, and Ngala towns. Government has also constructed 3,000 emergency shelter and latrines at Ngurosoi, Gom, Marte, Mafa, and 900 for returnees in Monguno town. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>
The administration has completed and resettled 500 households at low money, provided livelihood support that included irrigation slash dry season farm inputs, vaccines and livestock feeds. While the resettlement houses consists of 125 blocks of four units of two bedroom, school, clinic, police outpost and water facilities. I'm feeling extremely grateful and extremely happy because we are trying to address the root causes of the insurgency, which is reducing poverty. People who are living in the IDF, are living in the IDF camp for about a decade, depending on handouts from governmental and non-governmental organizations. And this is not sustainable. Today we have seen a sustainable solution, which is resettlement of people back to their communities in a dignified manner. But let me use this opportunity to commend the federal government the leadership of Tunisia administration, as well as our partners, our development partners, who have contributed immensely to the regional stabilization facilities. Surum Baranyan, Nalan Fesunyan, Nalan Doran, Nalan Aula, Alhamdulai, Alhamdulai Bawakamari, Bari, when they in Baranyan, Nandaganagana, Rumar, Manga, they are going to Baranyan, Bari Rayana, and the Chaman Baranyan, and the Shoto, Nadio Ba, now when they are telling you Baranyan, Alhamdulai. Accountability, transparency, and good governance in Borno under the Zulum led government has indeed changed the pace of governance for good in providing people-centered dividends of democracy and service delivery in line with this 10-point pact of post-insurgency recovery and transformation drive. Borno, under the leadership of Professor Babagana Umara, has introduced quite a number of reforms that reposition governance in the state, hitherto ravaged by over a decade-long insurgency to a shining star of renewed hope. Governor Zulum's commitment to the welfare and building resilience of his people earned him the status of Borno Chief Humanitarian Officer, where he continued to traverse, supervise and monitor palliative distribution of food and non-food items to the vulnerable and displaced people by the insurgency. If you look at the IDPs, the winning camps, and this is not inclined to our culture, so he now decided, okay, let me resettle these people back. How good? A lot of humanitarian activities and actors, partners, have key into the resettlement, you know, programs of the administration of Professor Babagana Omar Zulu. The security themselves, too, believe because there is political will. So they now supported this administration in making sure we resettle most of the displaced communities. The quantum of humanitarian support that we have been rendering compared to what we have been given in the year 2019 has been reduced by about 50% or more than 50% because of the emergence of peace in this part of this country. In the first year of his second term, Governor Zulum has distributed palliatives to over 1,607,000 280 vulnerable people, which consists of 284,587 bags of rice, maize, 20,000 bags of millet, 17,000 bags of sorghum, 343,293 cartons of spaghetti, 343,293 fabric of wrappers, and 5,000 Naira cash to 343,293 females, amounting to over 1.7 billion Naira across the state. The civil service being the center of executing and actualizing government policies and programs to the people, Governor Zulum, in his proactive approach to the welfare of civil servants for optimal service delivery, approved 2 billion Naira interest-free loan to Borno State workers. In addition to that, the civil service is also being reinvigorated with series of trainings and capacity building programs for all cadre of officers to keep them abreast on their schedules. 
2.4 billion naira was released for the payment of outstanding gratuity of retired civil servants. <coughs> One billion naira <coughs> was released for the payment of death gratuity to the families of deceased civil servants. Uh, Alhamdulillah, he was, we, we are able to, uh, to sort of send about nine items as a proposal, mm -hmm. and then we were able to get five approvals, mm -hmm. which include, uh, the most critical one is the promotion benefit of our people, which we think it will also cushion the effect of this problem. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, our, our promotion benefit of 2019 and 2020 was approved. Mm -hmm. so immediately he directed the Minister of Finance to start implementing. Mm -hmm. And then when implementing, uh, promotion benefit in 2016, 17, and 18. Mm. There are a lot of omissions that we detected, and we quickly called the attention of the Accountant General and then Office of the Head of Service. Mm. So we submitted the list. We also directed that omission also should be paid. Mm. At the same time, we requested buses that will convey us from our various houses mm. to the working place at a subsidy rate, which could not be more than 15 naira mm. until by, by drop. We graciously approved 30 buses for civil servants only. To sustain and entrench good governance and service delivery in Borno State, Governor Babagana Umar Zulum has assented to 11 additional bills passed by the Borno State House of Assembly on the request of the Governor. The bills passed and assented to by Governor Zulum are the Borno State Social Investment Law, Borno State Criminal Justice Administration Law, the Borno State Penal Code Law, the Borno State Investment Protection Law, and the Senior Secondary Education Board Law. Other bills signed into law include the Borno State Primary Healthcare Development Law, the Borno State Drugs and Other Medical Consumables Law, the Borno State Livestock Management Law, Borno State Information Communication Technology Development Agency Law, as well as the Borno State Local Government Amendment Law. Laws, some reenacted with revisions, some are completely new ones. There are those that enforce or enforces existing laws, for example, the Penal Code. Accountability, transparency, and good governance in Borno under the Dulum led government has indeed changed the pace of governance for good in providing dividends of democracy and service delivery to the citizens in line with its 10 point pact of post insurgency, recovery, and transformation drive. If you look at it now from when we came in and what is obtainable now, you assess that, yeah. There's a lot of development, and uh, inshallah, as uh, we are progressing to the next uh, three years that is remaining of this administration, I believe more are still coming. So inshallah, we employ from our supporters is that they should continue praying for this administration and give him the needed support. So as we traverse, you know, to make sure that there's a lot of development in the state. The unprecedented development and unity of purpose achieved in Borno State can be attributed to the exemplary leadership style of Governor Babagana Umar Zulum, his deputy Umar Usman Kadafur, as well as the State Executive Council, which translated good governance and service delivery.